Good evening, Min Michigan, and happy Father's Day. Welcome to Fox 47 News at 10. I'm Lauren Shields. A couple in Bridgeville, just north of St. John's, took off on their annual trip up to St. Ignace this morning, a tradition they've held for more than 20 years. This year, however, will be the first year they travel the more than 200 miles in their 1914 Ford Model T. It will be the car's longest trip yet. <laughs> Tom and Erica Wright go to the annual St. Ignace Car Show Weekend every year, save last year as it was canceled due to COVID-19. This year, it's back, and the couple is taking the scenic route at a comfortable 30 miles per hour with their two dogs and a trailer. Uh, the trailer is made out of Model T parts. It was a front axle, and the barrel, interesting, is off of a cider mill press from Uncle John's Cider Mill just up the road. The 107-year-old car originally belonged to Erica's grandfather. It was built in Ithaca, Michigan. And so it's been in Gratiot County almost its whole life. Yeah. They made over 15 million Model T Fords from 1908 to 1927. See, the, this era here isn't, it's called the brass era. So there's a lot less of these ones left than there is like in the 20s. 14 is kind of a special year. Yeah. Uh, that was the introduction of the $5 an hour, uh, five dollar a day pay raise. Yep. Um, that and was the, what Henry Ford did and everybody thought he was nuts. And, the and it worked. And assembly line was uh, officially yeah. done in 14. He started the eight hour shift. I mean, so there was a lot of things that went on in 1914. So everybody talks about getting a 14 Model T Ford. It was kind of, uh, special year. If you walk around this car and look inside the engine and the transmission, there are a lot of components that say DB on it. It's Dodge Brothers. Dodge Brothers was, they were one of your biggest machinists in Detroit. So they were making a lot of stuff for Henry Ford. A Model T Ford to us, uh, it's just unique in the way that it makes you slow down. They left this morning just after 7 a.m. and made it to Grayling by 1.30 p.m. Their trip will take them nearly seven hours in total, but they are spreading the journey across two days so that they can make lots of stops to give the car a break. Reporting for Fox 47 News from your neighborhood in St. John's, I'm Lauren Shields.